Hey, and welcome back to 5 Minute Friday. It's where we take a few minutes to end our week in God's Word. Today, uh, bringing to you something of a, a quote from a book, um, but then we're going to lead it to God's Word. And before we do that, it's a reminder that here it is, Share the Gospel. Share the Gospel is a fall series that we're doing, uh, small groups. And so if you'd like to join one, by all means, uh, email the church office uh, or, or contact us and let us know, and we can get you signed up, no problem. Uh, also, you may want to pick up one of those books. We have some of those at the office, too. But I share with you today because sharing the gospel is really challenging. And a lot of people might say, I don't, that's not my cup of tea. Exactly. And that's why we're working on that together to grow in our areas of discipleship and following God. You know, the book contends, and so does Scripture, that sharing the gospel can feel impossible. Uh, and there's a reason for that. Here's what Tony Payne says in this chapter two. The natural state of all people is to be impervious to the gospel, to be locked up in their own world of desires and disobedience. And as oblivious to the gospel as a blind person is to the light. It isn't just Tony's observation. It isn't just the way you feel when you're kind of trying to talk to somebody about faith. We stumble on our words and we speak without a whole lot of confidence sometimes, and we're trying to overcome that here uh, by digging into God's Word and being guided and practicing a little bit on how to do this in ways that are intentional but effective and, and not beating somebody over the head with it, right, at the same time. The, the chapter I'm taking to is Titus uh, chapter 3, where Paul writes to this brother in the faith and kind of giving him some encouragement talking about how uh, unbelievers are blind and we can't be mad about that. We have to relate to it. We have to understand what it's like for them. Titus 3, beginning at the third verse and going through the seventh. At one time, we too were foolish, disobedient, deceived and enslaved by all kinds of passions and pleasures. We lived in malice and envy, being hated and hating one another. But when the kindness and love of God, our Savior, appeared, he saved us. Not because of the righteous things we'd done, but because of his mercy. He saved us through the washing of rebirth and renewal by the Holy Spirit, whom he poured out on us generously through Jesus Christ, our Savior, so that having been justified by his grace, we might become heirs having the hope of eternal life. Yeah. We, at one time, were foolish and disobedient, deceived and enslaved. That's really the story of all people. Um, some of us have been kind of raised to uh, stay connected to the truth of God's Word, and yet we've gotten deceived too. We fall off the wagon. We get frustrated, and I'm sure we frustrate God. The reminder for me is that unbelievers aren't blind because they want to be. They don't make our jobs hard to share the gospel because they just want to be mean and want to be isolated and want to believe things the way they believe them. It's because they're deceived and they're blind. They just don't know it. It reminded me, back in the 90s, the malls had these things up, and there were these 3D images that you would have to, like, stare at. It was magic, right? You, I would stand and stare and look at these things. Kind of, you're supposed to keep your eyes locked in one spot, and then all of a sudden, something would appear out of the image, right? For me, it almost never happened. Every now and again, I get a little bit of a glimpse of some depth to the photo, but it was like after seven, eight minutes, and it's not supposed to take that long. I didn't have the ability to see it. Maybe I got too distracted. Maybe my eyes were fluttering a little bit. Maybe I didn't really know what I was looking for. So I didn't really understand it. What I did recognize is that other people did see it. And I got a little jealous. I'm a little frustrated with them. And so it's understandable if people are like that with us too. One of the things that's clear is if it is impossible, it's not impossible to share the gospel with the power of the Holy Spirit. And so that's why we lean into prayer, we trust God's word, and we show love to our neighbors. And that's what I hope you're able to do as part of this series.
Think about when you've been blind and how your eyes have been opened. And a lot of times it involves grace, new information, and a little extended love and care from folks that have invested in you. Hope that's a comfort to you today and an inspiration to get connected. I'll talk to you later on. God bless you. Bye-bye.